and hello and welcome to the video which is very quickly launching craft because to um recover a craft we kind of need to make it be able to be recovered but um yes so while we're doing this quickly could you please subscribe thank you it'll be much appreciated also the like then i then thank you for all the um all the subs the subscribers recently and now we're off on our um, aircraft carrier and we'll get to the other craft there in a bit and we're just z z zipping over to our um our um little craft that I definitely have to move the carrier a bit. And I think we can all acknowledge that I um I had to use high pressure to get it there. There's basically no other way to get it into the ocean and then out that far. Because the rotors move it are like a meter per second. And we are a long way away from the um, KSC. But um, this is how the majority of the recovery went here. Because I, I tried to do it in the other craft, and this just is bad. It's bad, it's bad, I don't like it. But this ended up being the, um, <laughs> the best method to do it. So um, totally conventional, so just power figures in the other direction that I'm pushing towards. And now we're just gonna um, pull it on out of the water and bring it over to the um, carrier. Mm, yes. Um. I, I should be commenting. Right, okay, then this definitely is going great. But eventually we're moving over to the um, carrier now. And um, yes. I have to say, I think I did a pretty good job with the carrier, given it was basically all stock, plus some tweak scale and stuff like that, but you could definitely build this in stock, it's just was simpler to do it using tweak scale to get the enormous panels. But, um, yes, so, just about to um, touch the capsule down now, I definitely didn't but did it first attempt, guys, don't worry about that at all. Just hovering over it now, and it wasn't a great landing, but I mean, it was a landing, and that's what that's, I guess. But, um, yeah. So, just gonna walk uh, around for a bit, and now we're gonna um, undock it. I realize that it's, it's on the unbond craft. So, we're undocking it, I forgot that I shut down the rotor, so we just immediately this happened. Which was, um, 100% intended. You guys can believe me. I am a trustworthy source. But, um, now we're just going back and landing on the, um, carrier. Which, uh, yeah. uh, And there we go. Definitely was an amazing landing. But now, um, we're opening up the uh, Osprey and definitely boarding our, um, our Kerbals. Yeah. Definitely close it immediately after because this serves no practical benefit. No, I wouldn't do that. No, I, I wouldn't do that. But um, then we had to get the other Kerbal out of here to get on board. And um, this went great because we just fell off because it wasn't properly attached. So then that fell off. So then we um, had to get the um, helicopter up again. And this definitely went. Great. I am um, picked up the Kerbal and um, yes, so now I'm just transferring the Kerbal, I don't think, but yeah, so we're transferring the Kerbals across now, and now we're powering up our, um, our Osprey here, and gonna, because the next part of recovering the Kerbal is actually, I'm um, recovering them to the, um, ASC. Yes. This is um definitely going great. But yes, so just taking them off now. I um, may have accidentally added a bit too much fuel because I didn't anticipate how much extra weight the Kerbals would add. So I totally didn't use high credit to mess around with the fuel levels and um. I also kind of messed up because one of the rotors, there's just a bug where one of them needs to be on reverse. 
to point up. It's it's weird, but <laughs> it, it it works. So yes. And now, after I do this, I'm gonna start heading back to the um. Well, eventually we got out of the water, and I definitely don't have to mess with it again because we didn't have enough airflow to um power the engines properly at the start. But then we ran out of fuel, which you'll be able to tell when that happened. It says cross phase until I fix it. Yeah. Um, okay, I don't think that's it. That was just when I function five to so fix the a bug with how the race looked. But um, yes, we've got all our curls going back on over now. I have to say, this thing is pretty quick, like 100 meters per second. It's not super fast, but it is very fast. Well, for what it is, it is fast, if you ask me. But um, now we're just going back to land. And as you know, the os um, pro well, I know, the Osprey cannot land on that normal runway because its rotors extend below its um, landing gear. Because it's um, is it a tilt? It's not a tilt. I don't. No, is it a tilt? Is it tilt rotor design? I think it's called. We're just putting them into um. Vertical down. The good thing about this is we can um, get rid of, just going back down to the normal speed now, we can get rid of our horizontal speed pretty quickly. Just checking fuel levels and um, yes, just doing the back of it because we have enough control authority to maintain a horizontal wall like that. I mean, you can take off in reverse. So just touching them down now. Jump positive that. Um, yes. I hope you enjoyed the video and um, farewell. Bye! Also subscribe please. Thank you. Or Discord stuff. Yes, yes. Plugs, plugs. Yes, yes, yes. The video's not done yet. Okay, it's done now.